Tonight, now CBS News has obtained pictures from inside the U.S. Embassy compound as it was being evacuated. Helicopters landed on a nearby soccer field. Another picture showing an American flag in the foreground with black smoke in the background. The Biden administration says it has assurances from the Taliban for the safe passage of Americans traveling to the airport. Thousands are trying to evacuate the country, but there are real concerns over what could happen next. Flights are taking off again from Kabul's airport. The U.S. had shut down the airport after some Afghans desperate to flee the Taliban clung to a U.S. military plane, including this man who took this video while the plane was in its takeoff roll. At least four people fell to their deaths. Crammed inside, one Afghan man filmed this video saying he pushed his way in without a visa or a passport. He was joined by hundreds of Afghans seen in this photo. There were a number of flights like this, and there actually quite possibly could have been a flight with more people than you actually see in this picture, which is amazing. There are still many Americans trapped with no word of when they might be able to leave. Calls are going out to thousands of American citizens with instructions on how to get to the Kabul airport and where to go when they arrive. Two of them are telling us right now they can't get to the airport and they've gone back home. We are doing everything we can in a challenging and dynamic security environment. Uh, we it's are a yes we, or no we question. Are, we are engaging uh, with the Taliban. We've heard these assurances of safe passage. President Biden has been saying for weeks that it was unlikely the Afghan government would fall to the Taliban. But CBS News has learned that classified intelligence indicated that as recently as July, the Taliban could capture the capital in a matter of weeks. Tonight, former President Trump, who supports a pullout from Afghanistan, blasted the way President Biden is handling it. Nobody has ever handled a withdrawal worse than Joe Biden. This is the greatest embarrassment, I believe, in the history of our country. And now there are fears of how the Taliban will rule, in particular, how they will treat women. The women who were holding positions in government, the girls who were going to school, and now they're going to go back to being sex slaves hidden in their homes? I mean, this is horrible. Now, tonight, the Department of Homeland Security is asking immigration workers to help Afghans being relocated to the U.S. They could possibly wind up in states like Texas, Wisconsin, or California.